What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video here on fancyfootballscout.co.uk. Today we are having a look at a game week 26 wildcard. Of course, we have the second part of double game week 25 tomorrow evening and we have FA Cup fixtures both tonight and tomorrow night, which will decide our chip strategy, who we're bringing in, who we're selling, etc, etc, going into the next couple of weeks. So you're probably wondering why are we doing a wildcard draft before then? So the basis of any wildcard, I think going into game week 26 is going to look pretty similar. We'll talk about a couple of things that you could change depending on what results we get, particularly the Fulham versus Leeds fixture, which of course, if Fulham do win that, there is a blank for Liverpool going into game week 28, which is a big decide of a lot of us on what we are going to do in terms of our chip strategies. Before we dive in, if you like these sorts of videos, if you're enjoying them from me, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Fancy Football Scout as well. Diving straight in, we're going to go in goal. We have, of course, got Kepa. He's in there. He does have the best fixture, I think, going into to the game in game week 28 where they have Everton at home but we have paired him with the highest scoring goalkeeper in FPL at the moment in David Raya of Brentford. Brentford having their double in game week 27 and doubling again in game week 29. 29 is a double for both of these so if you are looking to play your bench boost which this squad will definitely allow you to do in game week 29 then you have two strong goalkeepers to be playing that week. Now Thiago Silva being out injured for Chelsea isn't ideal but if you don't want to play him you do have a great alternative in David Raya, who you can be playing each week if you do want to. Now, moving into defence, we start off with double Newcastle defence. Newcastle are one of the good teams which allows you not to have to free hit in game week 28. Personally, if you're playing your wild card this week, I think a free hit in game week 28 is something you should not be doing and you can carry enough of the likes of Chelsea, Arsenal, Aston Villa and then Newcastle as well into that week which will help you plan for the game week 29 double as well with most of those having a double game week. So Trippier is in there. Then of course we do have Sven Botman. He is the cheaper alternative in that Newcastle defence. They do play Manchester City this week but they will both likely sit on your bench going into game week 26. Elsewhere in the defence we have Lewis Dunk. We've gone with him over Stupinan because it looks like Stupinan is not necessarily going to be back fit and available for game week 26 which would cause enough of a headache enough of an issue going into game week 27 when they double and then even game week 29 when they double as well where there's going to be some potential rotation or whether he'll be back fit at all elsewhere we have Reese James now we've gone with Reese James because they have a good feature this week they have a good feature in game week 28 and they double in game week 29 as well which is why he's in there we do have double Chelsea defence including Kepa which is maybe a bit of a concern given the recent form if Liverpool for example have a fixture in game week 28 there is so much money in the bank here you could just do Reese James up to Trent Alexander-Arnold you could go somewhere else like Gabriel of Arsenal if you do want them but of course Arsenal don't double in game week 29 which is the only thing to bear in mind and finally we have Cash the other defender which is going to help you through game week 28 and into game week 29 as well Cash and Aston Villa they look good they look good defensively and go Going forward as well. I've gone with him over the likes of Tyron Mings just because Carlos is coming back at centre back. And although we think he's going to come back in and take the place of Konza, there is a small chance that he could replace Tyron Mings in that back four. So we've gone with Cash. Of course, they have Bournemouth at home in game week 28. Then they double in game week 29 as well. So that's the back sort of five. You play three of them every week. This week it would probably be Cash, Reese James, and then Lewis Dunk as well. Moving into midfield, we start off with double Arsenal. So again, they would help you get through the game week 28 blank. And then of course you could sell them going into game week 29. With this squad, it is a squad like the wildcard draft I might be playing with my team I have planned and planned and future transfer planned with this squad so many times on the likes of fpl.team and plan fpl as well so I know how this squad looks for future weeks and it does get set up pretty well Odegaard Saka nice for the next few then going into game with 29 you have the money in the bank to do Odegaard likely up to Bruno Fernandez. then of course we have Marcus Rashford although a difficult feature this week and a blanking game week 28 as well Southampton in game week 27 and a double and nice fixtures after game week 29 as well Rashford has to be in here and then of course we'll be looking to add probably Luke Shaw and Bruno Fernandes when game week 29 does come around elsewhere in the midfield we have McAllister and we have Matoma as the double Brighton midfield to complete the Brighton triple up not only did Brighton double in game week 27 they double in game week 29 and they're likely to have a couple more double game weeks before the end of the season because they have more fixtures to reschedule than any other team now Solly March isn't going to be fit for the cup match he might not be fit for game week 26 just like a Stupinan which is why we've opted for the players we know are going to be available and are not going to give us headaches going forward so 
Matoma, McAllister and Dunk are the ones that we have as our triple Brighton that we have in this draft. Again, very nice for this week. They have West Ham at home if you want to play them. Then they have game week 27 double. They do blank in game week 28, but you should have eight or nine players with this draft. And then, of course, they hit double again in game week 29. Moving up front, Haaland stays in this team, although no double in game week 29 and blanking in game week 28, likely based on cup results. We are going to keep Haaland as our only Manchester City asset in here. Watkins and Tony are the other two. Now, Watkins is on great, great form at the moment. Aston Villa looking really good, sort of double up with Matty Cash. They have the good feature at home to Bournemouth in game week 28. Of course, he then doubles in game week 29 as well. So another asset that can help you through 28 and into 29 if you do Want to play that bench boost. Ivan Tony in here as well, doubling game with 27, doubling game with 29, unlikely to play in game with 28, but it is possible with Leicester lose to Blackburn in the cup. So a lot of players in here which will help you bench boost in game with 29 if you do want to play it. Future transfer plans for this squad, probably looking at Odegaard up to Bruno Fernandes, Reese James potentially to Luke Shaw, or you could move on the likes of Sven Botman or someone else going into game week 29 to go and get Luke Shaw in. If Liverpool have a fixture in game week 28 and you want Liverpool assets, Reese James to Trent Alexander-Arnold and Odegaard to Mo Salah are two transfers which you should have money in the bank with this squad to go and afford. So that would instantly give you double Liverpool and probably the two best Liverpool assets to be owning at the moment. So, that is a game with 26 wildcard. Of course, look at the FA Cup results. We will be posting more useful information. There'll be more live streams here on the Scout channel to help you with those potential doubles and blanks and how to use your chips going forward as well. If you have enjoyed the video, do not forget to like the video. Drop any questions you have in the comment section down below. If you like FPL videos, do not forget to check out my own channel and subscribe over there, FPL Harry on YouTube. There's a link above to my latest video. There are links in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe before you go. And I'll be back again next week.